And Habib, last thing, uh, I know you can't look past us, but give us your idea for your plan as a champion. Are you somebody that wants to fight frequently? Do you want to beat everybody out there? Are you just looking for one or two fights? We've heard you may retire sometime soon. I mean, what are your plans as champion? I just want to mold people. This is what I want to do. You know, doesn't matter, Dustin, Tony, or other opponents, doesn't matter. When I go to the cage, I mow my opponents all my life, 27 and all. People talk about, about his six win streak, what about 27 win streak? And 11, 11 years undefeated. And, you know, I, know, I, I don't underestimate this guy. I know he's a tough challenge, but this guy is not in my level. Fight in the street? Fight, of course. Not for money, just a fight? Well, of course, we're gonna fight. Who wins he, the street fight, you or Connor? But I never lose fight in the street. No, no matter where it is, you're gonna how many, how many times he tap? How many times? He's tap machine. You know, if, if we're gonna meet somewhere, we're gonna fight 100%. You know, if they gonna put me and Connor inside the room, why they make fight? Why we need fight? We can fight inside the room and that's it. I can finish him, you know. And... Uh, it's, I think room is a very bad idea for UFC and for Conor. Well, how could they do it otherwise? Do you think that they can have you go to different cities? No, no, no. Or? Maybe you talk about like when Aldo stay with him in room and he touch his shoulder yeah, or something. I was, there. I was in that room. Brother, nobody <laughs> can touch my shoulder. Nobody, all my life, nobody can do this. Maybe he can put something to the bus, but he cannot touch my shoulder. Nobody. This is not about Conor or other guy. Nobody can touch me. You know, if somebody going to try me, touch me, brother. It's going to be fight. 100%. It's going to be war. I didn't see these guys. I want to catch somebody, you know, like Tony O'Connor doesn't matter. Or maybe they're going to fight each other or doesn't matter. I can, maybe UFC, if UFC approve, I can fight with these guys same night. I swear, I don't joke. If UFC make this, I can fight same night. I can fight with these guys same night. Yes. Why not? Now I'm fresh. I'm fighting with Edson Barboza 15 minutes. You know, and... Maybe I have to stay humble, you know, but tonight I have to a little bit smash these guys, give these guys back, because these guys talk too much when I'm injured. I ask three times, UFC asked me fight versus Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz three times say, hey, I, wanna, I, I don't want somebody to catch me, like grab me. This is, this is not boxing, this is MMA, you know. When UFC, when UFC give me fight, I never say no. All the time I take. All the time I ask when I am on, like, not on... Top 15, I ask, please, I want to fight with him. I want to fight with him. Everybody talk about, oh, this guy trash talking. Hey, this is not trash talk. I train all my life. I want to fight with the best, you know. And now, I don't know. What do you think if you support me versus Nate Diaz? I think I what he going to do? He, he, he want to <laughs> stand up with me? I think I can fight with Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor, Eddie Alvarez, with all these guys, same night. I can fight with these guys. Like common event, main event, backyard, backstage, anywhere. An insane turn of events for you. Supposed to be Tony Ferguson. He gets hurt. All this is happening. Max Holloway can't make weight. What was going through your mind? And how, how is your thought process right now heading into tomorrow night? First of all, I want to say Alhamdulillah. You know, Allah always have better parents than we have. And you know, this week they asked me fight with five different guys. Hey, I say I'm tired about this. If you can bring King Kong and he can make 155, let's go. Hey, I come here for make history, you know. That does a road. What a Oh, he's coming back! Keep the cameras out! He's coming back! What's this guy? Huh?
McGregor, there was a apparent backstage altercation. What exactly happened? I, I saw video how he looked with uh, Tyron Woodley morning. And after my way in, when I go, he watched me. I say, what? <laughs> Maybe he think I'm Tyron Woodley or Eddie Alvarez. I'm different, you know. I'm living in the street. Where I'm from, this is different. This is not about, like, camera here or not camera here. This is not about this. This is about different. For me, it's all my life. I fighting. I, I have a lot of fight in the street. I know when I come to professional, I stop this because I can hurt somebody. But I have big experience. He watching like me like. For me, it's like like. Nothing happened. It's okay. Thanks, guys. But I think very soon. First of all, I want to say Alhamdulillah, God give me everything. Alhamdulillah, I know you got this, you don't like this. Alhamdulillah, tomorrow night I'm gonna smash your boy guys.